This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Okay then, it's Wednesday, which means that we've got another instalment in my guide to playing blues lead guitar. And it's a bit of an odd one this week. Um, basically, I'm going to try and explain how come a 1970s TV ad for a brand of instant mashed potato helped me play some cool sounding blues licks. Here's what I'm talking about. Okay, the story goes a bit like this. Um, back in the 70s and 80s, um, there was a, a brand of instant mashed potato that you could buy in the UK. Well, you still can. It's called Cadbury Smash. And you just add hot water to this powdery stuff that comes in the sachet and you get something that looks a lot like mashed potato. Uh, we'll discuss the flavour another time, maybe. Um, but basically, the uh, the advertising jingle for that product that was at the end of every TV I'd used to go for mash get smash like that it was just that little chord sequence like that and it, it was just one of those weird little occurrences where um, I was um, basically sat in front of the TV as a kid with me guitar in me hand and I happened to just land on those chords out of just pure luck it has to be said as that uh, jingle was being played and I thought, that sounds really cool, you know. Then I started noticing that chord sequence, or, you know, a transposed version of it. In loads and loads of songs that I was learning. It was in Beatles songs, it was in uh, Queen songs, it was in ELO songs, it was, it was every Eagles, everywhere. Okay, so I began to think of it as being one of these um, important chord sequences that I was kind of discovering. Like I'd already kind of got my head around the 12 bar blues and the, the G, E minor, C, D, stand by me kind of chord sequence. So I began to see the significance of it. And at some point I just thought, well, maybe I could use that in lead guitar terms and just sort of spell out the notes of the chord. <laughs> There's an A minor, D major, to G, like that. And get little licks out of it like that. And when I started doing that, it just sounded pretty good. So that just became something I started doing. Now, what's actually going on here is if we're in the key of G, that A minor chord, as you can see there, is the... Two chord, the D chord is the five chord, and the uh, G is the one chord. I discovered the two five one chord sequence, and moreover, I kind of discovered that uh, I could use uh, those chords as you know, kind of broken chords, arpeggios, to create little melodic lines. And what I began to notice is sometimes some of the notes in these arpeggios would maybe sound a little bit odd, but in a good way over the chords that I was playing. If I was wanting to land on the G chord, then maybe there was an A minor and a D chord coming immediately before that um, that G chord. But if it was like a C chord, for instance, that was coming before the um, before the G chord, then those three notes in the in the D arpeggio would sound a bit funny but in a good way it's um, it's like the old louis armstrong quote where he says there's no such thing as a wrong note just a badly resolved note and that's very much the case here so it was something i started incorporating into my um more adventurous as i was becoming blues licks at the time so what I'm going to do now is we're going to take a look at this chord sequence here. This is the 12 bar blues backing track. And um, you can see I'm going to do a 2-5-1 sequence um, over pretty much all of the chord sequences here. Starting off with the one that's marked out there, the 2-5-1 going to the um, C7 chord. So here's three licks that do that. And 
And now let's have a look at three licks that take us from the C7 back to the G7 chord using this 251. And finally, uh, we're going to look at some licks. Now, another three licks that take us from the uh, G7 chord up to the D7 chord. The chord that you're starting off here on here isn't really relevant. It's the chord that you're ending up on. So you could use these licks um, for any time you're hitting that particular destination chord. Anyway, here's the licks, the 251 going to D7 licks. So there you go, the 251 sequence, a great way of um, just adding a little bit of sophistication to your blues licks, and as long as you can visualize where the chords are on the neck, then you can start doing this uh, very, very easily. Um, it's a very, I think, accessible way of adding just that slight little bit of Robin Fordiness into your blues soloing. And there is, of course, a full tab for all of those licks uh, in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a, a jam track to play along with, and that clip that you've just seen there of me explaining and demonstrating the concept. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address link in the description. Uh, it's only $3 a month, and you get all of these extra resources that go with these uh, YouTube videos. Thank you to everyone who is uh, taking part in that it is massively massively appreciated i'm very very grateful uh but that is pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel as i say there's the patreon thing and all of the uh, the other links are downstairs also in the description thank you to everyone who is doing anything like that and thank you in advance if you're thinking about doing it uh what else do i need to mention yes the friday live stream this week um 5 p.m uk time uh, it'll be the 18th of december on friday so we're having our christmas party essentially basically just pitch up at five o'clock uh, uk time on friday and we're going to have a beer and a chat and just uh, basically talk about whatever springs to mind great way to kick off the weekend great way to kick off christmas i'd love to see you there but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe have a great christmas and above all stay sane bye for now